Hi guys, welcome to Zero Chills TV and I am excited as always it might not show on my face but you know it's cold outside my muscles are constricting and all that stuff but I'm happy I have an awesome guest in studio I want to say that I this was on short notice for him so I I'd like to officially hand my apology to JP Collins but he's a cool guy he's fun I can't tell you the story of how we met because each other and this is not professional and all that <laughs> but you know the best people you meet them in the worst places <laughs> and he's here today jp is a fluidist oboist oboe is an instrument i know you guys don't know what an oboe is i also didn't know what an oboe is and i didn't want to google before he tells me so that because you know google kind of you know gives you him it's like when you you do google and you search for anything you always it always shows you that you have an allergy or cancer so if you ever search if you put any of the problems that you have maybe a headache sore throat it shows you that you have cancer all the time so be afraid of google now jp collins is here jp please yeah. do the honor of introducing yourself so that i don't miss anything <laughs> <laughs> i think you said everything ah, no. um my name is jp collins yes i am a flutist mm-hmm. and a voiceist a music educator performer ideally a big supporter of yolo yolo <laughs> yolo means yeah you only live once oh. so no don't practice or let's make sure you're doing your best and, and living your thing so i'm a big big advocate of that yeah yeah and clearly the yolo philosophy has guided your life considering you are all these things and you are not even 40 <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happens i mean um it happens yeah. it happens yeah. um i mean normal is boring yeah yeah normal is boring so yeah. you know a bit of the cliche would not be so bad normal is boring but you see for young people who do not necessarily have certain talents as you may have mm-hmm. i'd like to know whether yours is inborn or it's something that you practice because I, i remember when when you were growing up you used to be told you can be anything you want <laughs> i've always wanted to be a pilot yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. The, the, i mean that is to a child i guess that because a child wouldn't overthink that statement yeah. they will just work yeah. towards being anything they want yeah. but as an adult of course you come to realize that the reality is you can be anything you want for real <laughs> but you have to work hard for it yeah. so i mean sometimes you're born with a silver spoon and yes. maybe things are a bit easier yeah. um, like you yeah, i would you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will they know maybe you tell me yeah. <laughs> according to me. Yeah. I mean I I, I worked hard. I, think, are, I yeah. think I think I am. You are not handed I'm doing, this. Yeah, I'm not necessarily nothing is getting handed. Nothing yeah. is getting handed dot to me. So yeah. and if it is I mean sometimes it's not the worst thing. It's not. <laughs> uh, it always helps to you know to have a silver spoon. It, it, yeah, yeah, it it, it helps sometimes but it's not necessarily um There's something about having your own. Yes. I mean, there's something about having your own and there's something about having support. There's something about, you know, having, you know, all those things combined. Yeah. And support may not necessarily even necessarily mean um because in this case when you hear silver spoon you think of finances, it could be a simple thing such as social networks. Yeah, as in simple things yeah. such as even friendships um people just caring about what you do mm. so sometimes it's not all about the money but they, i'm not saying money doesn't count <laughs> it does but um we can look at it in very in many perspectives but yeah. my point would be um silver spoon or not you have to give in you have to work hard you have yes. to put in some work so ideally at the end of the day it doesn't matter silver spoon or not and clearly you've worked hard enough in this life seeing that you teach at uh, local <laughs> <laughs> Um, um yeah yeah i guess i guess so um well i i don't, I don't really i really i mean it's really funny that i'm in those spaces yeah. if you asked me this a few years ago i yeah. would definitely would have said no yeah not possible like i would have never seen that coming 
Yeah. So how did you get in then for those who are curious cuz be like how did he get we've been trying all along. How did I get into yeah. what specifically? To before we even go to the fluid is to, to the teaching. To the teaching. Yeah. It is very random. Yeah. Um basically um how do I put this? Yeah. I saw a post on Facebook. <laughs> You are not on Facebook. <laughs> I wasn't I anyway, now I'm not on Facebook. Yeah. I saw a post on Facebook a yeah. few years ago. Yeah. And um my first I'd never really taught to be honest. I had never really taught. Mm. I had had lessons. Mm-hmm. But my intention was never to teach at any given point. Yeah. Actually, I don't it was never even part of my uh part of my plans yeah. growing up. Um actually I hated some of my teachers and I was like I'm never Me gonna too. Be, <laughs> I'm going to be I'm never going to be like I'm yeah. never going to be like them. So yeah. um so I I don't know you know life life kind of gives you you know it throws away some it throws some things to you. So to be honest I just so I was I was I was seated in the house and yeah. I saw this post on Facebook about teaching uh there was Nairobi uh, not Nairobi school what is this school precious blood yeah uh there's a there's a lady there's a there's a man who posted on facebook about um they're starting a music program in yeah. precious blood and they're looking for volunteer teachers uh-huh. so i i inboxed him back and we talked a bit and i guess from there that's where i started teaching it was it was just from an in basically sending replying a post on facebook that's that's how my ideally mm. my first 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 my first first uh organized experience teaching was i sent somebody an inbox from a post they posted so and they said yes i went and i taught and they kind of got the groove of it and from there onwards just everything went up you know technically there are not many flutists flutists actually <laughs> or who are fluent in in fluting am i there um i guess if you think about it I, um there there are a couple of flutists to be honest <laughs> they are they are okay maybe not as much as doctors or yeah. lawyers or maybe what their traditional careers are yeah uh but being a flutist and an oboeist in Nairobi yes we're not so many yes um and then also thinking about not so many people pick up classical instruments mm. mostly i think cause of exposure mm. um not in exposure a lot of um, culture yeah. it's not really in our culture to yeah. to learn orchestral instruments and something that you really really grow up with so a lot of people un- underst- uh, understand classical music using or they think classical music is for movies and yeah. cartoons yes. and they relate a lot with it so a lot of guys are oh i've heard that in tom and jerry so usually Usually, 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 guys associate that with that. Mm-hmm. Associate uh, classical music, or yeah. let me say, uh, playing the flute and the oboe, or any orchestral instrument with, with, uh, with movies and cartoons. So, and ex- lack of exposure, of course, causes, of course, less people to pick up the instruments and everything. But it's it's picking up. It's picking up. There are many music programs yeah. around. So, but but now that you know that lack of exposure, because esp- essentially what we deal with in this channel is such kind of creative problems now that you know that lack of exposure is a problem mm-hmm. what are you you yourself doing about that uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay so personally i've gotten engaged with a few programs that help spread uh, really messages on 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 uh, about music yeah well at some point i really was actively doing this currently right now i am at a space where well if somebody asks me i'll definitely answer you back uh, and i'll play a lot and i'll give sometimes i'll give like pro bono concerts yeah. or recitals um on invite on invite or guest lists depending yeah depending so that's as far as my as that as far as i do currently but at some point earlier i was really really active on it um in regards to personally i can't think of anything at the moment because <laughs> yeah. life is happening a lot yeah, it's yeah, moving yeah. so many things are yeah. moving yeah. so i can't say i'm doing much at the moment i am mostly focusing on a few projects that i have yeah yeah i'm trying to switch a few things up so the projects have money um yeah you kind of need you, know, you need help <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can I can I need money to make money? <laughs> yeah, true. Now speaking of money, which is a good point that you brought. You mm. see 
essentially as a, as a creative most of the time and even BN was talking about this mm. sometimes you know there are projects you do for art and then mm. there are projects you do for money mm-hmm. and so where is the line because sometimes you have such good work in your you know in in your over, but so, so, yeah <laughs> people don't want to pay for that but what they want to pay for is shitty work so where, where do you draw the line okay so basically yeah. it just I, i think a lot of this is based on like where you are in life yeah uh because you can't really as in how the how the market works yeah at least from how i see it yeah you can't really put up a like a very expensive concert at a very yeah. high-end concert yeah. Yeah. um you can not 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 know that you can but a lot of the start a lot of the artists who start uh who are starting out um it's very difficult mostly because in in a lot of support uh finances like you know just guys to help with the technical stuff so usually um i usually say start pro bono not always but for me i, I started pro bono and mm. with, with that you kind of gain momentum you kind of gain the experience you kind of gain the exposure i know in the art scene that is really looked down upon when somebody says exposure but it is necessary that yeah. you gain the exposure uh because it later on it guides you to decide on certain aspects whether you want to do them whether you want to engage whether you're doing it pro bono or you're being paid mm. for me personally what may what what i decide whether it's pro bono or not is depending if if first of all one uh is um one if, it, if it's pro bono i'm usually looking about um, do, le- do i like the people i'm playing with yeah am i enjoying it does this music look fun um is it you know what am i getting out of it like things like social capital or even such as like an, an interesting you know experience yeah. like yeah. There's a day we did a gig in um, Rwanda yeah. and it was free like wasn't being paid but yeah. I'd never been to Rwanda so yeah. oh, why not <laughs> why not <laughs> why not they're yeah. catering for my flight they're yeah. paying for my accommodation yes. they're paying for all these things so yeah. when they say like we can't really afford you we can like give you like padiums and things like those but we can't really afford to pay you although we really would love we really love for you to come our yeah. sponsors are willing to do this and it's like your sponsors can't pay for this it's like no they're very specific with what they're sorting yeah uh, so it's like uh, anyway it is good exposure in, yes, the, in yes, the real yes. sense so yes i did it pro bono yeah. and then there are those things such as i've done concerts where i charge and the reason why i charge is because i kind of need to make money because i bills are paid for of you have you have insurance to pay you have life to sort you have family you have even you know you want to go out yeah so for me to exercise that yolo part of, of my life yeah <laughs> you need you kind of need money to finance yeah. it so yeah. and also just to finance yeah life so and that's the reason, that's why i cut it out and usually when you're doing uh, when i'm doing my own concerts or when i'm playing um or i'm playing for a gig usually is you know these first of all once sometimes it's just called to do the gig and you're being paid naturally so that you take but if i'm doing something on my if it's my own jurisdiction yeah. mm-hmm. then most probably i'd go with um i'd go with I'd, I'd wait down if i'm doing my own thing i'm definitely charging mm. if i'm doing my own thing because you see it, it takes money to put Make up money. the concert yeah. so and i kind of need to survive i'm teaching i know but you know we also have investments that you want to do so yeah i know so that's it it's really not a thin line it's just very hazy yes it's very hazy. it's not a straightforward thing Vijana, like there you're saying about <laughs> investments which is very important especially as a creative because mm. say if you if you do not have any other job you know like save maybe unlike for you who maybe is teaching and maybe you, you know say someone who is a who's a graphic designer mm-hmm. so to speak mm-hmm. and they probably don't have anything else they do is just design posters and campaign season is coming up of any politicians of any politicians and you know when when that campaign season comes up and that is the only job mm-hmm. that they get to do mm-hmm. i don't know for you but for me i find that investing has also been you know it's it's a, it's a tricky yeah, it's difficult because they, they are, there are no really people who you know <laughs> teach you know like yeah especially the creative sector you know for doctors and lawyers they have all these pension schemes and due retirement benefits yeah we don't have all we don't those. have that shit so how then do you 
in your own view would you tell a younger person or a younger you you know now when they're just about starting their career and maybe they have set up their mm. business you know just you know i'd say advice i really ad- what the first thing i'd advise you yeah. is i mean saving is one it's it's really difficult one i, I really know it's i find it very difficult personally to save only jesus saves yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing yeah. that I really really have a uh, I really usually uh suffer with a lot personally is yeah. um like keeping track keeping track of it <laughs> you know like the consistency yeah. of it is a bit difficult also because yeah. the industry is a bit inconsistent as yes, well yes. so you can't really say um at the next month I'm going to do this yeah. and I'm going to do this cuz you see unless you have like a sure gig planned yes. it's very difficult so that time when you when you really make the money or when yeah. you really make uh that when you really start making the money or yeah. try save as much as you can yeah. like I'm not saying like uh cut yourself off or do anything just even if it's 100 bob a day like mm. it really makes a difference mm. um it, it just there's no minimum there's no maximum uh secondly I like how I do it is a lot more based on on necessity sometimes yeah <laughs> and yes. Chris, I, I would tell you there are months things are thick so you just ah. you just go like eh, that's saving this one like, like I was telling you I was two minutes late is because I walked to studio from home <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you see, but yeah. like there's there's such things. Like yeah. I, I think, I think the one thing I usually advise guys or in money in regards to being an artist is try find really what works for you. Yeah. Uh, try find things that you also are really interested in. Um, some people usually do chamas and yeah. they kind of work for them. Yeah. There is there's people who do table banking, all those things like. Try maybe maybe try that yeah. maybe things like even I'm sure any savings yeah. uh you know those uh, and then you can try maybe open an account a savings account sometimes you can invest in even simple things such as your friend's business yes yeah it doesn't have there's no there's no standard way of saving like I as have long a as you Huh? I have a business you can invest in. <laughs> yeah, so like it's such things. I mean, if you have the money of the capital, and sometimes capital leads and suddenly also money. Yeah. So if you can also and um, so also invest in social capital, I yeah. usually say that because I think that's very. I think that is one of the most for me that has really worked. Social yes, yes. capital. It's really really important that you you invest in that. Because... You're pre- you're preempting because that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuz social capital is the one way in which um I think it's kind of a sure and not yeah. really assured but you have a higher chance yeah. of growing with with social capital yes. than finances like finances will only sort and pay for what you can yes, for yes, what you can yes, actually yes, afford yes, yes. but social capital can actually get it to levels that you couldn't even reach because yeah. of the networks you have exactly that, those networks are what build you is what exactly. moves you to the next level your finances will pay for your concert hall your finances will pay for your you know accessories and what you need yeah. but the social capital is what will get you to that stage what will get you to this office what will get you to these spaces you know what will you know make your expenses even lower yeah so in my experience social capital is of high importance wow you know you you speaking about social capital and you are lighting me on fire you are like an evangelist <laughs> because i just remember yesterday we were riding with uh, the deputy president's wife Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, uh, nah, siring, let me flip my hair. Uh, <laughs> also kurayako siriako, so I don't want people to misread me out there. But you know when you're talking about social capital, I remember when I when I was employed, you know, I used to hang out around my boss a lot and you realize even as a young person when you hang out with people who are at a higher level than you yeah, you definitely. get to think higher you stop thinking about small, yeah. small problems yeah. and and for you I'd like to know cuz here yeah, we like to give practical wisdom mm-hmm. you know just the kind of steps that you can take say I am a nobody out there how do I get into you know these places where the people who matter mm-hmm. are in so now that that's really very now that's really the tricky bit yeah um I'd say I usually say have something going on. Yeah. I'm not saying have material out there. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you know have that 
usually there's there's no there's no there's no right way of doing it. Yes. Um, and there's no wrong way. It's just, and I can't necessarily advise that tell you, oh, go here, oh, come here, yeah. or go talk to this person yes. and, and ask them, tell them, because it's very weird or very strange when somebody just approaches you randomly and tells yeah. you, oh, I am this and this <laughs> and that, and I'd like you to do A, yes. B, C, D, and yes. E, 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 yeah. like who? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. very it's very weird. It is. There's, there's some sort of psychology, some sort of, uh, you know, finacity, some yes. sort of, some sort of, something there's, there's there's something to give usually yes. i'd say one of the one of the ways that i do it personally is your social interactions social capital isn't mr president mm-hmm. only or yeah. uh, the head of god knows what organization or, yeah. Yeah. or institutions social capital is even a simple thing as email addresses mm. as email addresses yeah uh, you can just ask, like, for example, Hi, my name is Jeppy Collins. I am a flutist and an oboist. Um, I haven't done much work, but I haven't done much work with my with my with what I'm doing. Yeah. But this is this is what I'm doing, and I really want to get hand. I'm really stuck. Is it possible for you guys to get to listen to me? Maybe give me a chance to maybe um, you just ask um, to play for. Can I play for? For something for you and then you decide and then maybe you can decide what you think about it like something mm. maybe as a hotel mm. yeah mm. so things like hotels like they always need music they always need performances sometimes the, the budgets are low sometimes they're not so me as a musician i would go to maybe maybe kaya cafe yeah. i yeah. don't know somewhere like mawimbi or somewhere like any hotel whatever basically just think of any hotel that usually kind of is around that state of giving performances so you can ask them um, can i give uh, a free performance maybe yeah. uh, for an afternoon and then you guys think about it and see yeah. if you'd like to get me mm. if you're really honest and you're really serious about it most people would actually listen to you yeah and be like okay and people since uh, living here in kenya so Kenyans like let's Nairobians love free things. Yeah, asana. Nairobians love free Sana. things. Asana. So you can just start negotiating yeah. like okay, you know, li- uh if you like my work, then maybe you can have me uh play play here every maybe Tuesday evening yes. when it's the least busiest maybe it come here. Uh they most probably will give you a chance or they'll yeah. tell you we don't have a spot. We don't have a spot, but yeah. that's one way of building social capital. Yes. You've made yourself known you sorted out the opportunity yourself yeah um you've gotten the chance to listen just you know they they most probably did listen to you because that's how i started playing also mm. we just walked into hotels and asked them can you play then it's like right now you can't play but our bosses are coming on this day and this day can you book us an appointment for you to come perform here for 10 minutes and then you decide if you want to if you want you guys to play generally most of the time more um 90% of the time they gave me the they actually they gave me the ear yeah. and I actually got the jobs so mm. i just i just kind of literally worked it out yeah. i sorted out the opportunities myself mm. that is one way of building social capital so through these now you know the manager of god knows what what else yes right yes so that is it so the day when you're pulling off your own gig you just invite him and tell him i'm giving you two tickets for free yeah you just come bring your family and everything else so i will bring your friends and things like those he listens to you appreciates to you and that's it that's how you build your capital and through him or through all these people you're building your stock capital as you grow mm. that's a that's for me that's my example of a practical example of how i did it practical wisdom i think I shall charge for that content. I'm going to put part of this as paid for on Spotify. You can't just get for free this wisdom. <laughs> when yes, you're... I think there are yeah. many ways. Yeah, there, there are many ways. You yeah. just have to want it so bad. Yeah. I think if you really want it, you'd 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 work for it. Find a way. Yeah, Where there's works. a will, there's a way. I used yeah. to hear those proverbs in composition. Oh god, I don't forget. Finish this composition <laughs> with where there's a will, there's a way. I was like, no, no. I don't forget. What? You even <laughs> when you are talking about you know mm. I remember there, there was a guest we had in studio and he told me one thing which which is called David Moraithi mm-hmm. and he, he he talked about how networking is not just 
how you know people but also how they know you yeah and i think you raise a very important point there when you say you know give the ceo maybe just someone that you want on that event free tickets yeah and you know in kenya as well in as much as we love free things the people are providing the free things want to maximize as much as possible, possible. so you are like ah, if i give out these free tickets ah, you know i'm going you know, to yeah, yeah. It, it's a very it's a very wishy washy very yeah. gray area yes but you know the, i mean you know there's more than one way to go about it yeah. you know yeah. there's more than one way that's just a pra- that's just an example yes. not the only thing yeah. but i'd say there has to be sacrifices made Always. nothing just comes yeah. nothing just lands on the table like yeah. it's like nobody just gives you you know those times you're like gosh somebody just send me 10 Gs just 10 Gs yeah. just 10 Gs <laughs> you'll save my life nothing but how often does that happen Man, I just need a G <laughs> I need a G hey <laughs> my 10 Gs right now would save me as in but in the, you know like yeah. these do is these do is aspects you have to always remember they you know sacrifice yes um and then you know as artists we go through that a lot we tend to no, sacrifice no. ourselves a lot and then sacrifice who even who we are what we stand for what we believe in the cause of of our art yeah um and as artists i think one of the most one of the biggest challenges we face is now you know drawing the line of you know what is is it necessary yes. is it is it important mm-hmm. will this you know five years are down the line will this be important will yes. this have added you know and then oh another thing is actually having a, a i know like a short term plans mm-hmm. long term plans mm-hmm. um things change along the way which yes. is completely okay yes uh but you know your short term plan or your long term plan you know helps guide helps guide you know direction Mm. it might be on a timeline basis it might be on like maybe you need maybe project basis but whatever it is have have a plan going have on. a plan yeah. have a plan like you might you know say like in two years in three years time i want to be here it takes time it takes time yeah. to build yeah. it like yes. any other career nobody just like lawyers just don't start like oh my god i'm gonna be <laughs> senior counsel today like yeah. it's just you know you have to start from somewhere it takes time, yeah. you have to start from somewhere and the thing is you have to gain these experiences yeah you have no you have, you have to you have to have this exposure and sometimes it's you know it's up you know it's yeah it, it's like it's given up to you like mm-hmm. it's given to you like the i think these like institutions that usually try and give those opportunities like mm-hmm. if you're in school for real yeah and the one of your house one or definitely one of your boys has a house def yeah yeah you can just decide hey today i'm doing a gallery concert i'm an artist i'm a painter and i'm a singer what i'm going to do i'm going to come to your house mm. i'm going to come to your house i'm going to go to club yeah <laughs> get that juice for uh, five liters yeah. can't be easy. it's like yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, just just like i'm sure with five days you can yeah. pull off a concert in somebody's house yeah. you no know, provide food and then yeah. yeah. give like 30 minutes of yes. music and that is your social capital because these years these friends of yours who are 21 or 22 yeah. years old yeah. right now yeah. they're going to they're going to be something in the in next the five years yeah right they're yes. also growing themselves right yes yes and most of the time we find that that is social capital True. like you're investing you're creating an audience you are you're creating you're creating people who's starting to know you're creating a community mm-hmm. with your friends starting with people who you know yeah like do a you know doing a family gathering pull off a short 10 minute thing i know i'm this i'm, I'm thinking as a musician because yeah. that's 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 like my area but yeah you know like things like those that's that's an example of building again social capital yes like the opportunities but sometimes you have to source them out yeah a lot of the times you actually have to think outside the box to to kind of get yourself where you need to be because whenever you ask all of these big all of these big league uh all these performers and artists you'd find that Yeah, I mean they put in the work. Some people yes, they found a manager who just yeah. yeah, but a lot of guys a lot of the times you you don't get that opportunity. Yeah. You have to kind of source it out. I think if you source it out, the passion, you know, the sacrifice of whatever cuz nothing just please like mm. for you to be a musician or for you to be a doctor, for you to be, you know, an art, for you to be a pilot as I say you want to be or you kind of have to sacrifice your time to yeah. study to be one yes. yeah so this time because um sometimes a lot of artists don't have the money or the finances to actually take themselves to school to study music 
yeah so that time you'll be studying music then gain something with yeah. it you know yeah you know do do these small things go for free master classes you know go for those free gigs analyze what these niggas are doing you know see what they're doing yeah yeah